Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Tesla Naval. One more software update is upon us, and this one is 2021.4.15.10. I've just installed this in my 2021 Fremont Tesla Model 3. We're going to take this out for a drive and see what this is all about. Now, if you look at the release notes, you'll see it says minor cold weather improvements. It's freezing cold out there, so it'll be nice to see if any improvements have come through at all. And it says bug fixes. Now, although it may sound like there's not much happening here, bug fixes are very, very important. And Green the Only, the white hat hacker Green the Only, in one of his tweets has said a few features have come through. One of it being, if you remove yourself from the seat with the seat belt being plugged in, autopilot will disable. That is a very important feature. And one of the um, uh, crazy videos we see out there is from uh, Consumer Reports, where they demonstrated how you can get off the seat with the seat belt plugged in. And we've seen some TikTokers uh, doing that. Uh, on open roads absolutely deplorable i didn't like that at all so we'll test that out the next one uh, green Lee only said was uh, uh, there is an, a few uh, visualization improvements where now animals are being displayed on the screen and uh, we're going to see if we can find a dog walker at this time of night it turns out 8 15 at night uh, we'll see if we can find some dog walkers it'd be nice to test that out um and those are the two important things that i want to test out and the other thing uh, uh green Lee only said was there may be some uh, rain uh, detection improvements in the in the cars. Uh, we don't have rains here in Wollongong, so maybe I'll use a sprinkler and test that and see if that works. Let's see uh, what this is all about. Without further ado, let's get going. This is 2021.4.15.10. I must say I was super lucky because immediately after I got out of the house, I was able to test the animal recognition feature. My neighbor was walking his dog and he was happy to help me test this. As you can see, the car does recognize my neighbor as standing just right of midline, but no dog to be seen. So I asked my neighbor to walk the dog up the road to see if that would make any change. As you can see, that did not work either. The car failed to recognize both my neighbor and the dog. So I decided to take a short drive and pull up with my neighbor on the left side of the car as if I'm driving past him on the road. I did drive as slow as possible, but nope, fail again. So the car did not recognize my neighbor nor the dog. So what we did was we asked my neighbor to sort of move closer and further away from the car to see if that would make any change. You can see that the man figure is displayed on the traffic visualization, but no beast. There you can see him moving closer and further away. It does show him but it does not show the dog. But there was something else that was shown. This other figure that comes up behind my neighbor was just not there. I wonder if it is a real ghost that I caught on tape or it is a ghost in the code. You guys decide. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Have you had any experience like this? I'd love to know. I do read all my comments. At the time of filming, I did not see the ghostly apparition. So I asked my neighbor to walk across the car and still None whatsoever. Even when he was on the right side or the driver's side as well, you can see him, but not the dog. So this has to be filed under the epic fail category. I'll definitely test this again in 2021.4.18 and see if that has any change at all. Alright guys, as you saw, the um, animal detection was not really great. We will see if we can find other dog walkers on the road uh, in another part of town. And now I'm going to test the autopilot feature. Let's turn on autopilot. Double tap. That's autopilot turned on. And my seat belt is still plugged in. If I lift myself from the seat, will autopilot disengage? I'm afraid it does not. Autopilot is still engaged. So it's probably not in this update. Uh, it's probably on the next one. Interesting. Very interesting. trying to get up as well one more time nope autopilot is still engaged and still working fine radio so that is something that we need to test in the next update uh, I probably read it wrong myself it's probably in 2021.4.18 uh, uh, which some people have got I'm still uh, in 4.15.10 uh, so let's look at that in the next update maybe the 18 is the one which has the animal detection as well Let's wait for that too. But even so, I'm going to test this out. I'm disengaging autopilot because I'm going to take the 
off the repeated route and we're going to commence urban autopilot challenge right away so turning and double tap autopilot engaged <coughs> do that so that you can see the uh, cameras we we'll have the side repeaters as well so you can see all the cameras double tap to confirm going across this place so people who have watched my urban autopilot challenge videos from in the past you will know that these uh, uh, are the routes that I always take uh, I take this route because of the number of traffic lights that are there and the roundabouts that are there so that is interesting okay changing lanes working fine double tap to proceed first of the roundabout is coming up right ahead this is a 50 kilometers an hour road so it's sticking to that I'm going to go to the outer circumference of the roundabout and force the car to go across let's see if the car would do it no, it wouldn't. Okay. Double tap again. That was the first intervention on autopilot. Let's keep going. Changes to an 80 kilometers an hour road. Push down the stock and it will recognize the 80 once the, the speed sign is recognized. And that will push up the speed as well. Okay, so far so good, one more roundabout coming up, we can't wait for FSD to come through, we just can't wait, I'd love to repeat all of these um, you know, tests on FSD, it would be really, really, really impressive, okay, let's push this, let's push this, let's push this, wow, okay, it couldn't do it, okay, fair enough. Now I was well within um, control of the car so don't you worry there, I don't want you guys to say oh Nash is doing some crazy stuff with his autopilot. Now, some of you seem to think uh, that now that Tesla is moving away from radar, uh, visualizations may be a little difficult in dark roads, not so at all. The car can more than enough recognize um, the landmarks on the road as well as uh, smaller uh, signs as well so it's not as bad as you guys think of course once that drops once that version where it's fully visual no longer radar drops we will test it out too that'll be interesting okay apply a light turning force okay if you guys have not watched that video where I tried to debunk uh, all of those crazy claims of autopilot being completely unsafe please do watch that it's a three-part series it uh, was in response to consumer reports video I'll link that in the description of this video as well as in the top right corner now while you're at it kindly consider subscribing to the channel and also click on that bell icon to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop I'll usually release one uh, video every week I'll keep it as useful as possible we do a lot of autopilot videos and we also do a fair amount of DIY videos. I have two special DIY videos coming up very soon on my channel. This is a small teaser for that. For people who want the front dash uh, screen, I have a video just for you coming up very soon. And we've also done an upgrade of an SR Plus Tes Tesla Model 3 with premium audio features including subwoofer. That video is dropping very soon as well. So do subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon. Now on with the autopilot challenge video, double tap to proceed, there's no lead vehicle so I have to double tap, I've not seen any dog walkers here but as we go further down the road we would see a few so let's check out if uh, the animals are recognized on this 2021.4.15.10 update. So 
what do you guys think is autopilot working well for you guys please leave your thoughts in the comments below i read all my comments and reply to them in a timely fashion oh dear i think i just missed the train i wanted to test this out here there's a traffic i'm sorry there's a uh, railway crossing there I want to test that out. I think I just missed the train. Okay, okay. For another time. We will test that another time. The bins and cones visualization has been there in our cars for a fair while now. So nothing new there. Otherwise, Urban Autopilot Challenge has been proceeding in a reasonable fashion. Now I also have 2021.4.18 on the Tesla Model S and that video should have dropped on my channel by now so do check that out. I'll link that as well in the description of this video. Now we don't have to confirm because there is a car in front of us so there is a lead car in front and so we don't have to confirm at all. So far so good. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I feel that the uh, flickering green and red light, whenever there is a left or right arrow, uh, which is red, has reduced a wee bit in this update. Do you guys agree with me? Let's test that out in the upcoming uh, signal as well. Um, let's see, there is uh, a red arrow for people who are trying to turn right and for people who are going straight, it is a green light. Is there any flickering there? Oh, there is so, there is so. It used to be far more pronounced, but it's not as much now. It's only a, gen only a minimal flicker that I saw there and then it stayed green because that is the light that we have to follow going straight. One more roundabout coming up again because we have not had any success with these roundabouts ever since my, uh, I think it was 2021.4.8 update in the Tesla Model S. Well, ever since that, I have not had any uh, success with um, roundabouts. So I'm, I'm starting to think that that was a pure fluke. I'll link that as well in the description of this video. And there are timestamps in that video too if you want to watch that. No cars in front of me, no cars behind me, and that's why I am being a right lane hugging boon. Don't make those comments on the video, guys. I change lanes as soon as I, I see that there's a car behind me or something like that. One more traffic uh, light coming up, I think. Oh, that was a little close to the center median. Okay, double tap, no lead car. Keep going. Nope. I have to disengage again. Okay. Double tap. Oops. Okay, double tap. Re-engage. Autopilot. Right, so the urban autopilot challenge has been completely uneventful. Why does it say autopilot unable to proceed? Well, well, well. Do you think there's some excitement? And did you notice that it chimed a little while earlier? I think it recognized the green light up ahead and it gave a chime. Interesting. Yeah, autopilot seems to be working okay. Oh. It disabled itself. Okay, that is interesting. 
I think it's because it was an incline that it got confused with the two traffic lights. Wow. Now I want autopilot to recognize these emergency vehicles. That's very, very important for full self-driving to function. And if it recognizes these uh, vehicles, it must give way. That's something which autopilot has to do. Now this is going to be interesting. Now this is that wider uh, intersection that I always point out in my other videos as well. And if you notice that we are downhill and we are in a sort of an incline here and the road ahead is downhill as well but it's not a straight road. It, it's got a bit of a, uh, a curve attached to it, you see, as you can see from here. Now, in the past uh, uh, update videos, the car has never been able to negotiate this. It always gets confused and asks me to take over. If there's a lead car in front of me, it works fine. But will it do it now? Will it do it now? It's asking me to apply light force. Yes, 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 no, no. Okay. Okay. So that is still a nemesis. Okay. not a boring autopilot video after all. I'm going to reduce the speed and try something here. I want to see if the car will take this left turn. It would be interesting to note. No luck there either. Okay, fair enough. Now that's all folks. Thank you very much for watching. This has not been an eventful autopilot run and I must say we could not find any doggy coins to be honest. So we couldn't see any dogs uh, animated on our screens. Nor could we test the autopilot bums off seat either. So we will look out for the dot 18 update very soon. And once that comes through, I'll make another video. If you are in the lookout for a Tesla of your own, an S3X or AY, kindly consider using my referral code. My referral code is directly linked to my SR Plus 2019 Model 3, which I hire out via ev.com.au. Both of us will get 1,500 kilometers or 1,000 miles of free supercharger credits. And my supercharger credits are directly linked to my hire car. If you are wanting to hire an EV via ev.com.au, do use my referral code TeslaGong to get $25 off of your first hire. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is National Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.